Hi everyone, Olivier Riley from Ride the Boards. 7 o'clock in the morning and it's a good Sunday because it's kind of windy I decided to share with you a nice uh, session because I'm going to ride kiteboarding today so all the gear is packed behind in the car and i uh, give you my tips my five tips for the day uh, see you on the spot there, so as you can see you're on my spot it's kind of windy you can see the here you can see around here uh, so first thing first when you arrive on the spot like here in South Beach uh, South of France you need some tools so let's check this out the first tool you're gonna need um, is the aqua bag you can see here the aqua bag I use it for uh, my keys my car keys uh, to live into my bag so and my phone if I need it. Uh, second thing I use most of the time is the uh, screwdriver so that I can check my twin tip before going right. And first third thing when I go to the beach is check the wind so that I can just uh, be sure I got the right setup and to check it we need the sky watch so let's go now and check what kind of wind uh, is there in the water. So here's my kite home kite spot. So as you can see, uh, dude, it's seven in the morning. Uh, might be uh, too early for most South French kite borders down there. But this spot is kind of perfect. Okay, uh, wind is coming. Uh, from here, so it's a uh, side onshore wind, and uh, look at this. Check the uh, yeah, we're gonna do like that. So it's kind of windy, and around the max come from here, it's 15 knots, okay? 20 here, okay. So especially when you arrive on your spot and you're alone here, you don't want to be underpowered, uh, you don't want to be overpowered, so that kind of little tool. I know that that's from 15 to 20 knots, I'm going to be on my 12 kite, uh, short lines if I want to go on a surfboard, and short lines is 19-20 meters line, and long lines if I want to go with a bit of more of power with my Seiko kites, which is a 12 again, uh, to do more freestyle and uh, uh, old school and uh, aerial, aerial, uh, aerial tricks. So it's time to get back to the car to prepare all the gear. I need to launch and land my kite alone, and I always prefer uh, uh, short lines when I need when I go. Uh, riding alone so that's gonna be it uh, gonna begin with my surfboard uh, so that I can do I like surfboard so that I can do a bit more warm-up and uh, let's check out the surfboard tricks so these are the two babies I'm gonna ride today uh, and to check uh, these two boards you're gonna need a screwdriver for your twin tip and maybe sometimes you're gonna need uh, some kind of a tool. This is my ball bug here. So my surf ball tool is always in my ball bag. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, for just checking the um, the fins of your surfboard. Yeah. Keys, my car keys, already inside the aqua pack. Because you know, modern car keys. Um, uh, they got electronic inside so you don't want miss your uh, keys and uh, you, uh, this is my recommendation for not missing your keys in the in the sand. So we got all the gear prepared here, you can see the kite here, we got the bars and the harness here. Uh, before going to ride with the surfboard I always recommend you uh, that you check uh, the, um, the main parts of your surfboard which are the fins Okay, so you always want to make sure that the fins are correct. For example, here you can see, you can hear it. This one got a bit of problem. Okay, 
so I need to screw that to fix it and you always want to make sure that there's no problems with the epoxy layer okay so basically for example here maybe I'm pretty sure you can see a little scratch here okay so uh, to make sure that there's no crack inside the board what you do is you just try to breathe air through the crack and if your air with your m mouth is not going anywhere you can see the crack is uh, perfectly uh, just superficial so no problem with your board you can ride it okay so always check everywhere in the board because if you got a crack and uh, you need reparation you don't want to go into the water with that surfboard because uh, if there is a problem in the water I mean uh, water comes inside and after that your surfboard is just not usable anymore so just preparing for your session uh, let's see what you need for kiteboarding you need a pump and the little uh, attachments to pump your kites uh, I always take a water bottle so I advise you do the same uh, just to be able to ride one hour two hours or more and uh, the bars I use are already got when I go in a trip and when I go riding for uh, with friends I always take two bars so as you can see uh, this is my um, long line uh, regular chicken loop bar and this is more my short lines 20 meters with a freestyle chicken loop bar. Um, I always like to have two bars. 25, 24, 25 meters bars are more for free rides and uh, light winds if you want to be underpowered. And the 20 meters bar with a big chicken loop are more easy for freestyle and wave riding, a bit more aggressive rides. So here's the thing, everything is set up. As you can see here, I got all my gears prepared. The spot is just right here. I wish you a happy Sunday, enjoy your sessions. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you like my advices, tricks and trips for kiteboarding. Ride surfboards or ride vlog you want to know about if you like riding boards enjoy crossboard riding enjoy every session enjoy every sunday with friends and ride a board yeah now it's time to get in the wetsuits here